six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Electron rocket is soaring off the pad and on its way to Space Force Inspective. Electron is quickly coming up on its first mission milestone to pass through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure against the rocket, otherwise called out as Max Q from Mission Control. We'll listen out for that now. Electron is supersonic, approaching Max Q. HVB discharge nominal. Cleared Max Q. That was the call we were waiting for. Electron has cleared Max Q and is continu continuing nominally on its journey to space. We are now past 18 kilometers in altitude as the rocket reaches speeds of more than 2,300 kilometers an hour. Up next will be three actions that take place quickly one after the other. The first event is MECO, which stands for the main engine cutoff. This is when the Rutherford engines on the bottom of Electron slow down before shutting off completely in preparation for the second event, stage separation, which is when the larger section of Electron separates and falls away from Electron's second stage. Soon after that, the Rutherford engine on the second stage lights up and the mission continues, with the third event called out across mission control comms as second stage ignition. We'll be able to watch those actions in real time from the rocket's onboard camera and hear the call out from Mission Control, which should be coming in shortly. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to staging. Entered burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. There we have it, a successful Miko stage separation and second stage engine ignition for Electron and Sunspecto. Electron is traveling at more than 7,600 kilometers an hour and now at 102 kilometers above Earth. Our next launch event will be the separation of Electron's fairing when the nose cone splits and falls away, exposing Sinspecto's strict satellite to space for the first time. Fairing jettison succeeded. You saw it there yourself and heard it from Mission Control. Electron's fairing has separated and we have a nice clear view of Sinspective's satellite in space. The mission is continuing nominally so far on its way to its 543 kilometre orbit. Guidance is nominal. Now, Lakita, you're the structural analyst for this mission. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about what's required for launching into orbit? 
Sure. So, in short, our team works on ensuring that the rocket would survive the harsh launch loads. For example, the new custom fairing that we talked about before would change both the structural and dynamic loading on the vehicle. In other words, the force and vibrations the rocket would experience throughout flight, like at Max Q. And all the components on the vehicle also need to be tested to these loads. So our job is to define these loads and analyze the strength of the vehicle and components within to make sure they can handle them. We're coming up now on the battery hot swap for the second stage Rutherford engine. This occurs when the engine switches over to a new set of batteries to power its electric pumps once the first pair are almost out of energy. Once the swap is made, the old batteries fall away from electron and sometimes we can see these shiny silver packs on the screen as they fall. So let's keep our eyes on the screen and listen in for the call that battery hot swap has occurred. Hot swap successful. Battery jettison confirmed. That was a call that battery hot swap is confirmed. For those of you who have seen a few of our mission broadcasts, you will have noticed some new hardware on the second stage, which forms part of our new generation battery system for Rutherford engine. We redesigned the batteries to introduce more resiliency into the system and improve its electrical performance, allowing for an increased payload capacity on electron. Stage 2 propulsion holding nominal. AFDS has saved. The mission is continuing nominally thus far at 7 minutes and 35 seconds into flight. Now if you take a look at the dials on the top right of your screen there, you can see Electron is accelerating past 19,000 kilometres an hour on its way to Mark 16. But what does that mean? Well, it means it's fast. Really, really fast. Orbit is basically a constant state of falling. So in order for us to try and combat the force of gravity trying to bring us down, we have to exceed speeds of 27,700 kilometers an hour. T minutes, sorry, T plus eight minutes and 20 seconds into the mission, and we're coming up shortly on the second stage's final actions, cut off of its Rutherford engine, called out as Seco, which is then followed by Electron's kick stage separating off this inspector's payload. Call outs from the operators in mission control should be heard shortly, so let's listen in. Seco confirmed. <laughs> 